Hello guys and welcome back to our channel. Today I want to talk about such thing in freediving as an open line and why it's better to avoid uh, like freediving session in the ocean with the open line concept. But if you're first time here, my name is Sergey. I'm a freediving instructor trainer and on this channel I'm helping you to become a safer and better freediver. So again, if you're first time here, subscribe to this channel, click the bell button in this case, you're not gonna miss uh, my next video. And if you want to support this channel, click the like button. Um, if you already did it, thank you very much. I highly appreciate it. Okay, so first of all, what is the open line? So this is our setup for diving in the ocean. We have a float, we have a weighted line, we have some bottom weight, 40 meters maximum. And then we have a three free divers. One free diver planning to dive to 20 meters one free diver is planning to dive to 30 and the last person is planning to dive to 40. And there is also one safety free diver, uh, maybe free diving instructor, whatever, like maybe uh, some, like someone from, from the free dive center. So let's say all of these three people, they did some kind of warm up and now they're planning to do uh, their maximum dive. Again, one to 20, one to 30, one to 40. And this free diving instructor, or free diving safety body, he decide, oh, I'm too lazy to put the line for 20 to 30 to 40, uh, let's put it to 40. And then other two people, they can just uh, check their depths, maybe put some alarms, and like when, when the person reach 20, he just gonna stop. So at first glance, it seems like uh, it's not that bad idea, it's kind of time saving, so you don't need to uh, change the depths. So everyone happy, everyone can dive, but it's a compromise of the safety. So obviously for the person who diving to 40 meters, everything is great. But let's say for the person who diving to 30 meters. So his maximum, let's say maybe 32 meters, he never dive deeper than this. And now he's planning to dive to 30 because he may be working on his mouse feel or whatever, whatever technique he is working. And then he starts his dive. And then maybe he didn't hear his alarm and he dive maybe to 36. So first of all, if your maximum was 32 before, you never dive to 33, 34, 35. So maybe 36 is going to be a risky depth for you. Maybe it's going to be resulted in a lung or trachea squeeze. Or maybe it's going to be hypoxic dive for you and you ended up with LMC or blackout, shallow water blackout. Why? Because let's say if you was diving to 30 meters only before, Let's say your dive was 1 minute 20 seconds. But now if you accidentally dive to let's say 36 or maybe 40 meters, now your dive is going to be 10, 15 seconds longer, maybe 20 seconds longer. And now there is no guarantee that it's not going to be hypoxic dive for you and you not ended up with the LMC on the surface or even worse, maybe with a shallow water blackout on your way up right because you was not ready for such dive okay the next person let's say the person who was planning to dive to 20 meters maybe his maximum depth is much deeper than that and what he was planning to do he was planning to dive to 20 meters stay there and let's say do some hang and then after the hang come up to the surface and now the worst uh, thing happened he have a hang and then let's say he have a blackout maybe on the way up. What happens with such person? He start to falling down. He start to falling down. Hopefully he have a, a free diving lanyard, and then he's gonna end it up at 40 meters, right? So from bad experience, it can be the worst experience. Like if someone have a shallow water blackout, obviously it is a bad experience. But now, since the line is going much more deeper, uh, it's going to be much more harder to bring such person up because he just start falling deeper and deeper and deeper. Okay, guys, so this is a, just a couple of examples how open line can uh, decrease the safety 
uh, in your open water session and how it can increase the chance that something go like really really wrong again why this happens from my experience what I saw from other dive centers like in what situation it happens it usually happens when the safety diver and free diver is uh, like a little bit lazy to pull manually line up and down up and down and at this present moment we already have a solution I made a review about such product as a pulley uh, from Octopus and this is a like really great tool which allows you to quickly readjust the depths yes I remember the time when I have to pull the line like you need to uh, jump on the float you need to pull the line to put it shallow or you need to release the line to put it deeper and it was a little bit um, annoying okay but with this pulley device now which a few companies now produce like from what I remember at least three companies or maybe four companies produce uh, such devices you can easy, easily buy it online and this is gonna help you to much easily to readjust the depths even if you like someone diving to 20 and another person diving to 40 it's gonna be just a couple of seconds to put the line uh, back to 20 and then put it back to 40 so it's gonna be really really quickly so I think one of the reason why people used to uh, used to dive with this open line uh, concept it is because in the past there was no pulleys and then it was a little bit like too annoying to put the line like back and forth and now with the pulley it's much more easy another reason probably it is when on the same buoy a couple of free divers which with completely different depths so maybe one free diver have a maximum depth 20 meters and another free diver have a maximum de depth 70 meters so in this case uh, obviously they need like so much difference between their uh, their dives so in this case what we can recommend we can recommend uh, try to find a partner more or less same depth range or if let's say you are diving to 60 meters and your body diving to 30 meters maximum on this particular session so maybe then you as a deep free diver choose to do some shallow training maybe it's going to be FRC training maybe it's going to be no fins training where the line uh, is probably going to be a little bit shallow for you etc etc so this is the how you can readjust and avoid such concept as open line because again it's potentially risky okay guys uh, this was a video about such concept uh, in open water free diving as the open line I hope you understand that this is a risky idea to use this concept I hope this video was useful for you if it was don't forget to click the like button and I will see you next time